Well, welcome back into the studio for this month's hashtag artsy second Sunday. And this month, our theme is summer and I'm totally feeling this theme. Um, I, all I know that I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna work on this nine by 12 canvas panel. Um, and I know that I want to utilize some of this awesome wavy weird texture that came in a mailer from Otterbox. So Otterbox apparently when you order directly through them, I ordered a case for my a new case for my phone and it came in this and this was like ooh. So I ripped the other the backing off of it, the envelope part of it. And I know that I'm gonna use some of this and I'm gonna adhere it with this E6000. This is one of my favorite um, adhesives for super heavy, unusual, t highly textured items. It pretty much works on anything. It's very, it's industrial uh, strength. This is the clear. Um, but the neat thing about it is it is flexible. So that's pretty cool. Now it does have quite the smell, but they have a new version out that is stink free. So that's pretty cool. I do I do sell this in my store. It is, um, I mean, I go through this a lot. I have like three or four of these tubes. I have the clear, I have black. So in case I don't wanna show it through, and um, and I have a couple tubes going at the same time. So this, I don't know why, I just, I, for some reason, I think I can't find it or something. So sometimes my lid gets really stuck on there, but I found that if you take your scissors and go like this, you can get this off real easy. So, um, and I try and keep it pretty clear, but that's the only problems I've ever had with it. It's some, if you get the regular one, it's kind of stinky and sometimes the lid gets stuck. So that's all I know of what I'm gonna do so far, and I plan on using lots of color because I am really into summer. So, and summer is, well here in Arizona, summer is already here. So, yeah, uh, I am very excited about that. So anyways, let's get started. found that if you apply just a tad bit of heat, this stuff sets up really quickly. I had dried these tea bags with the tea in them. I do remove that before I adhere them to the surface.
Now the crackle paste does need to dry naturally, not with a heat gun, so I did leave this to dry on its own. It was about at this time that it started to feel like an evening uh, with it, like the sun is coming through the trees and the colors of a field almost. You know how the sun kind of gets dappled in the early evening hours? That's the kind of feel I start getting. So I started to pump up the volume a little bit in where I had placed the yellow. And I brought in the eye zinc ice and the iced tea to give some evening like contrast or shadows almost, um, but more of a natural feel. Also, I wanted to tone back the white that was peeking through all that texture. So I kind of tried to embed that down into the grooves of that textural paper. Of course, the wonderful bonus of doing that is using glazes will make all that texture pop.
I'm just using a baby wipe to pull back out those dappled sun areas. And I am going to create here um, a lighter shade of that yellow to do some highlighting. And now I've pulled out my eye zinc ice in the iced coffee, which is slightly darker than um, the tea. And I am just coming in and putting in more shadows, more of an evening feel to this. So you're kind of sitting, this is at least what came to me when I was creating this as I'm sitting um, in a field of flowers or something that has lots of color and it's dusk and I'm seeing through and I have all those dimples of sunlight shining through. It's a waste of time, the things you do. 